Protests flared anew across the U.S., erupting after a grand jury in Louisville, Kentucky, declined to charge any cops for the death of Breonna Taylor. Taylor, an African-American emergency medical technician, was killed in a botched police raid. Activists raged against the decision, chanting Taylor's name and decrying her death as a symbol of African-Americans needlessly killed by law enforcement. When we look at Breonna Taylor and when we look at George Floyd, we look at them as reflections of us. They marched in Milwaukee and in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Demonstrators took to the streets in Oakland, in Philadelphia, and in New York City. Some said the grand jury's decision came as no surprise. I'm a little appalled, but it makes sense because that's exactly how they look at us. We don't matter to them. Benjamin Crump, a civil rights attorney representing Taylor's family, said the justice system failed people of color yet again. Police killing us outside the courtroom and the system killing us inside the courtroom. Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden said his heart went out to Taylor's mother and urged protesters to refrain from violence. Well, they should be peaceful. Do not sully her memory or her mother's by engaging in any violence. But Louisville police said Wednesday night two officers were injured by gunfire and a suspect taken into custody. Both officers are currently undergoing treatment at University Hospital. One is in alert and stable. The other officer is currently undergoing surgery and stable. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted his support for the injured officers and applauded Kentucky's governor for readying the National Guard. In March, three plainclothes cops broke down Taylor's door, executing what's called a no-knock warrant in search of drugs. Her boyfriend feared the officers were intruders and fired a gun. The cops returned fire, shooting Taylor five times. Two of the cops involved in Taylor's death have been placed on administrative duties. One, Brett Hankinson was fired and charged by the grand jury with three counts of wanton endangerment after bullets he fired in the raid traveled into a neighbor's apartment.